So just in winemaking in general and specifically home winemaking, which there's a relationship here, I think sulfur as, a, um, as an element is an amazing tool um, of great utility in winemaking and grape growing. On the vines, using elemental sulfur, just mine sulfur out in uh, the vineyards, uh, dispersing this out throughout the vineyards helps avoid uh, the growth of a certain type of a fungus called powdery mildew. In, 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 uh, in our areas, we call it powder, powdery mildew. Just uh, sprinkling that around out in the vineyards um, prevents that from growing. So it's a wonderful tool there. In other forms, in the uh, form of sulfur dioxide, uh, and it's various salts. It's a wonderful tool in winemaking to, um, to kind of skew the ecosystem towards success. Uh, there are certain organisms that we really don't like to have in wine, and they're very sensitive to small levels of sulfur dioxide. One of the reasons that uh, um, you know, burning sulfur wicks inside barrels um, is so useful is that the organisms that we don't want in there don't like that at all. So um, if you take that idea and you say, well, we've got a salt of SO2 of some sort, um, small amounts of SO2 can be added early on to those grapes and avoid uh, the proliferation of organisms that really make the wines get kind of funky. You know, they compete with the things that we actually want. So from a home wine making standpoint, it's a great tool when you get your grapes in, use a, a tiny bit of sulfur dioxide uh, to let kind of molder in the grapes overnight and it, it uh, kind of skews the ecosystem in the direction we want. If uh, we choose to, we can then uh, introduce uh, the type of yeast that we would like to conduct the fermentation that would uh, be pretty vigorous and, and build up a good uh, bit of uh, uh, heat in the small uh, in, the, in the small mass, which is advantageous in a, in a small vessel because you really want a fermentation to go quickly so that the heat can build up and you can get a, a, a nice um, appropriate extraction from the red skins. Um, after fermentation, after biological activity is, uh, at least the desired biologic biological activity is done, a small amount of sulfur dioxide is a beautiful tool to A, to bind up acetaldehyde that has been formed in small amounts during the fermentation and, and early aging of the wine, so you can actually get rid of that kind of sherry type noise that floats around over the, the real underlying characters of the wine. Um, I mean, it's just a wonderful tool for that and uh, avoiding s certain microbes from uh, taking over the, the evolution of the wine. Take a dry, my dry rosé, for example, and uh, certain crisp dry white wines. Once the alcoholic fermentation is done, that winemaker may not want the malolactic fermentation to occur. So uh, happily for this uh, desired outcome, a small amount of sulfur dioxide in solution really inhibits those malolactic uh, bacteria from um, proliferating. And that gives us an opportunity to, to have a wine that retains freshness a little more simplicity and uh, brighter acidity.